It's like since 2001, life expectancy has increased by four years. And therefore, it's really important for us to look at that and look at what it means with regard to the provision of public and social services. We have an ageing population. Our ageing population is going to have doubled by 2025. One of the challenges that we have in Ireland is, is that we're not always well joined up in our thinking. Age Friendly Ireland would be encouraging older people to get involved in the consultation processes, get their, have their views heard and listened to. The Age Friendly programme really focuses on getting the main players around the table. The chief executive of the local authority, or well, that's the most senior person in the HSE, the Gardaic Shikana, along with Age Friendly's own staff, to become catalysts for that conversation that puts the needs of the older person at the centre. Each friendly Ireland is effectively driving the collaboration and also driving the information flows, ensure those things are happening in the right places at the right time and making sure that it, it's a, an effort that is actually countrywide and the Age Friendly programme provides an infrastructure for all of these people to come together with that common vision. The Age Friendly programme in lots of ways tries to influence central government and policy by using what they've heard at the grassroots level. The difficulty is always lifting a policy and a strategy off a page, having like a local committee, a local alliance that results in something real. But there's no doubt that with the kind of infrastructure being provided to the age-friendly city and county programme and what we're trying to roll out with Healthy Ireland and Health and Wellbeing and the demonstrable alliances and acknowledged and recognisable alliances, that we're in a far better position to envisage and create a much more positive environment for people as they age. The plan that each county adopts, their strategy, has its basis in going out to the communities where older people live. The lived experience of, of people in the community is translated into that strategy. It becomes much more accountable. And health can very much come to the table and play its part. And what we've been doing over the last two years is really dialing up our contribution and saying, actually, here are the services that we're offering. These, this is how services need to change into the future. And at the very local level, through the local structures and through the alliance, looking to see how our local health partners can play more of a contribution, whether that's the opening time of clinics, whether it's a different kind of service, whether it's a reach out service. And in the longer term, looking at how we can provide and change services that are not so hospital centric that are looking at supporting people to live at home as they age. Planners are now looking at building homes for life. That's a big change. The age friendly team working with Chambers Ireland have developed is a toolkit to help businesses adapt. The feedback from companies that have taken the toolkit and implemented it is very very good. What we're beginning to hear from the older people's councils is that we want a, a central voice now uh, will enable us to influence national policy. And I think that's a real smart thing. Now you see people taking charge of their own destiny. I believe that we need to facilitate that and not be afraid of that. I don't believe these changes would have happened without Age Friendly Ireland. The reason being that you need somebody centrally to drive an implementation of any new programme of work. Uh, the age-friendly city and county approach is truly very novel. When you look at the international literature, uh, lots of countries are aspiring to have something like this. It's brought an awareness to various organisations of the value of older people. Now we are seeing growing old as a resource rather than a burden. And I think age-friendly have, have enabled us to change that mindset. Mm.